What do your parents think of your fursuiting hobby? Let's try giving them a call. Hello, hello, my name is Lazuli and welcome to my channel. As promised, the 10K q and I did pick these questions at random, minus my Patreon supporter questions. Those who are supporters on Patreon were guaranteed their asked questions answered. Ugh, say that five times fast. Asked questions answered, asked questions answered, asked questions answered, asked questions answered. You already know the deal. We must remove the paw. What was your first ever fursona's design? You're looking at her. Lazuli has really not changed much appearance-wise. If I can find her original reference sheet that I made her back when I joined the fandom, I will put that up here. The art was questionable, but her design honestly has not changed. If anything, it's only her aesthetic that's really changed. You have a very nice fursuit. Anyways, what is your favorite cartoon or anime? Currently, my favorite anime is One Piece. I'm on episode 933. I'm catching up. I'm catching up. Question. Did you make the fly fursuit or did you have it made? And if you made it, what was the inspiration for it? So Snacks was actually a pre-made that I saw for sale on Twitter at the end of 2021. And I had just gotten my Christmas bonus and I saw the suit. And I was like, oh, I want that. And I I bought it. Who is your maker? Lazuli was made by Fatal Plush, and Snacks was made by Coca Yuyo Creations. Which is better for dancing, plantigrade or digigrade? I personally prefer partialing over anything, but the next step up would be plantigrade. And I would probably put digigrade as the more challenging way of dancing in fursuit. But of course, that's just my opinion. Some people might actually prefer digigrade over plantigrade. Just from my personal experience of dancing in digigrade, plantigrade, and partial, it would be partial first, plantigrade second, digigrade third. What do your parents think of your fursuiting hobby? Let's try giving them a call. Automatic voice message system. Wow, okay. Um, let me try again. This is not very promising. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic- To be fair, signal is very spotty where they live. Okay, I'm gonna move on from this question and try calling back in a little bit. When did you join the fandom? At the end of 2013, start of 2014. I didn't make myself a fursona until March of 2014. Question, how did you discover the fandom? I learned about the fandom from an online friend that I played Minecraft with. They had sent me a video from Anthrocon 2012's fursuit dance competition of Duke the Dog. There was no going back from that one. I was just like, wow, that's really cool. I want to do that one day. And I finally had the opportunity to do that for the first time at Anthrocon 2016. Fun fact, I actually got to meet the friend who got me into the fandom in person at Furry Weekend Atlanta 2017. How long have you been fursuit dancing for? I got Lazuli's original partial in April of 2016, so probably since April 2016. Congrats on 10k. Question is, do you own a cat? I actually own not one. But I own two cats. So, this is Yumi, and this is Jinx. Do you video game at all? If so, what do you like to play in your free time? Also, do you play on console or PC? I prefer gaming on my PC, but I do have a bunch of games on my Nintendo Switch. In my free time, I typically play League of Legends on my PC, as well as Minecraft. And if you've been keeping up with my live streams, you might know that I play a lot of Animal Crossing on my Nintendo Switch. Do you think graffiti is a type of art? Well, absolutely, it's an art form. Question, do you have a second persona slash do you plan on making another one? No, I do not have a secondary Sona and I don't plan on making another one. Lazuli has and always will be my one and only persona. Now, do I have other characters? Yes, I consider Snacks to be a character. Snacks is a character slash performance suit, but Snacks is not a persona. What is your favorite movie? Also, congrats on getting 10k subs. 
One Piece Red, The Adventures of Tintin, and V for Vendetta. Would you recommend fursuit dancing? I would say yes if you enjoy performing, but you really need to have a tolerance for heat. Walking around in fursuit and dancing in fursuit are not the same thing. Especially if you're performing in front of an audience, on a dance floor, on a stage, it gets very, very warm. AV will usually have lights beaming down on you, which will contribute to the heat. Don't be me and dance in a suit that does not have ventilation. My Fly Fur Suit Snacks does not have a mouthful for breathing. Needless to say, after every single performance in Snacks, I immediately need to rip my suit head off. I knew what I was getting into when I bought the suit. I knew it didn't have a mouthful. I didn't really care. I knew I was gonna dance in it anyway. Um, I just, yeah, just don't be me. Make sure your suit has a mouthful if you plan on dancing. I would also highly, highly suggest outdoor feet paws and not indoor feet paws. Indoor feet paws are very, very slippery, especially for a dance floor or a stage. With outdoor feet paws, you're going to have that traction, so you'll be less likely to slip. Congratulations! My question for you is how do you see out of your fly fursuit? Is it tear duct vision or am I missing something? I actually see through the fursuit eyes like normal. The eyes are actually made of a see-through mesh that's sewn together to give the shape of a fly's eye. Would you rather have really big paws or a really big tail? Why not both? Okay, but in actuality, big tail over big paws. Why did you get a new fursuit? I actually just made a long form video explaining that. I'll have the link to that down below. What's your favorite dance competition you've been in? I think I have to go with Anthrocon 2020. The convention did not happen in person that year due to COVID-19, but they did have a virtual dance competition. My boyfriend and I put together a routine and we actually placed first that year. I danced in lazuli per usual and he wore a King Tsunami, which was an otter shark suit that I previously owned. I'll put a little snippet of my dance comp performance here. Walking down that road, where did all the flowers go? They say we're supposed to grow, learning from the highs and lows. All eyes lying on me, oh, begging me to play the role. If you guys want to see more, let me know and I'll re-upload the whole performance. What 2024 conventions will you be going to? Confirmed, I know I'm going to be attending Furry Weekend Atlanta. I run the dance battle event there, so I, you know kinda have to be there. Also set in stone is Anthrocon. Some conventions that are a maybe are Blue Ridge Fur Fair, Be Whiskered, and Furry Takeover. Before I forget, I'm gonna try calling my mom again. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good, I tried calling you twice. Well, I'm doing my, I told you about my Q&A video. Yeah. And I'm doing, I'm filming that right now. So the question is, what do your parents think of your fursuiting hobby? It's a hobby. It's not like it's a serious thing. You know, you have a good time, it's fun. Who's it hurting? Doesn't affect me one iota. I like to watch you dance, so, you know. <laughs> okay, that's all I needed to ask. Okay, bye. Well, there you go. <laughs> There's my mom's answer, at least. That's gonna do it for this video. If you like what you see, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment down below. I hope you have a wonderful morning, day, or night, depending on what time you're viewing this. Bye!